welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr. We are talking storage, area, networks, that sand, fiber channel, ice guzzy. I nailed it. Let's go. All right, welcome back. Back to the basics, we are talking storage area networks or SANs. So there's a couple components. There's the network and there's the storage device. So really what we're talking about is connecting servers to disk. And so a SAN is traditionally some controllers and a bunch of disks. And it gives you an, a modular way to add in storage. You can do these things called shelves and just keep adding in additional storage. The controllers basically uh, split segment the load across disks. You have options for performance tuning and tiers. Uh, there's all kinds of things around replication. So if you have a SAN in a data center A and data center B, you can do SAN to SAN replication. So your data is always current in two different physical locations. All these things are great. The additional thing that it does is it allows you to have data centrally stored in a, in, a, in a SAN. And then if your server, your physical server dies, you can replace that server and your data still stays there. You don't have to worry about backing up and restoring. Now, as we've evolved into uh, more virtualization and VMware, SANs enable you to move a workload in production off of a, one server to another. So if you need to do maintenance, things like that, you can move a server that's running to another server by utilizing the SAN. So when we talk about the network that connects you to a SAN, traditionally this was a fiber channel network, they call it fiber channel. Uh, then Cisco came out and some other vendors came out with FCOE, which is fiber channel over ethernet. So still leveraging fiber channel, but carrying it over ethernet. Um, in parallel to that, iSCSI has made a lot of improvements. So it started, once we got to like one gigabit speeds, iSCSI started to make more of an impact. So that's, that's SCSI over IP. So sit, consolidating the network, so not having a fiber channel network, having a regular ethernet network and running that SCSI traffic over it. But now as one gig has turned into 10 gig and now we're looking at 40 gig, iSCSI is now becoming the standard for fiber, you know, replacing fiber channel and using iSCSI to deliver storage area network connectivity. So that, that about covers it. So SANs are really just about connecting disk to servers. And in between that is the network fiber channel is kind of transitioning to iSCSI. So the network is getting consolidated. It's an ethernet network, but it's really just storage to compute. So how do we manage it? How do we replicate it? Those types of things. That's what a SAN does. If there's anything I said in this video that you liked, you want more information about, make sure you leave a comment. If there is anything you want us to do, let us know. We want to do it for you. Thanks for watching. Peace out.